Okay, we have so much wood now that we can't actually carry it all. So let's let's offload some of this. Right, I need four pistons, but they do not need to be sticky. They do not need to be sticky. <laughs> Let's make a stack of wood. And put iron there, redstone there, cobble! We need cobble. Right, let's try this again, shall we? Wood, iron, iron, redstone, and cobble. Right, and I only need four of them, I think. So, oops, there we go. Right, so I don't mind pistons being visible in this texture pack, because I think they look quite good, so... I think if that guy went there and there, and then like this... That'd be good. Now we need to make sure that no light can get past, because the way this works requires on absolute darkness. So... Need to make sure that there's blocks all the way around it. I don't think light will pass through the piston itself. So. So, as I said, there will be water there being held up by that. Um. Oops. So, that one isn't really needed, um, so I'll get rid of it. Okay, let's just even even out, uh, let's just even the sides out a bit. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I forgot I put a hole in the floor. Uh, and this doesn't reach the roof anymore. <laughs> There we go. I'm going to just do that for now. <laughs> so we go two out on either side, up, and then we do that. So. I'm just going to throw some torches up temporarily in case I run away from this spot. I don't want mobs to spawn up here. Um, that's all quite light. Although the tops of this are a little vulnerable, aren't they? To um, mob spawning, but we'll see. Right. Uh, as I said, it has to be complete darkness in here, so... We may as well fill the sides in. That hole is going to become my only way down in a moment. Okay, so obviously I need redstone wiring to get those pistons to be extended. Um, and I'm trying to work out the best way to do that. Okay, I've got a redstone torch on me and some wire so I can do some experimentation. Right. Okay, if I power the block underneath, it extends. What if I power the block oops, above it? If I put redstone wire there and power it... Okay, that works. So I could run... I could run redstone wire here relatively easily. Hold 
Command Shift. I just want to have a look at this side of the building. Um, obviously, I have to get it from the controls down there to up here, and I want to minimise the impact on on the look of this building. Why is that stayed out? Um, it stayed out when I removed the power, and I want to make sure that if that's a bud switch glitch, then it won't stay out because the water will force an update. No. Do you see this? This is no good. That's no good at all. Get a lever. So turn that on and the water stops. Okay. So only if I break the wire. Does it not work properly? Okay. Interesting to know. I want to make sure that the uh, grass has a chance to spread everywhere. So make sure it's well lit. simply run power up the side walls so here we've got that uh, sandstone and in the center we put a block with a bit of redstone place of that. Uh, let me pick up this water. Put those torches out because I still want that grass to go everywhere. So, here what I will do is run one of these circuits up here, like so, and we're probably going to have to take out the block underneath as well. So, so this is um, a form of vertical wiring. Come on, grow. Will grass actually grow where the torch is? I don't know. I could make the whole ceiling here only one high. Um, it's not going to be vis it's, it's not going to be visible in here anyway. But I'm going to leave it too high just in case I have reason to come up here. So we want to take out the dirt block that's there, and that one. So we're going to put ah, we're going to put a block there with a torch on top. So I need to have access to it like so. And I need more redstone torches. Not that many. Oh, probably more than just just two though. <laughs> Let's make another four. That gives me six. Right. 
Oops. Not really enough room here. So. So is that defaulted to off now? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Alright, so that's current default off. I want the default to be on. Don't I? What do I want the default to be? On or off? Don't know. Let's just... Let's just improvise like I normally do. And one there. And I'm going to run a little bit of redstone underground because I've got a bit of room at this side, I think. So let's get that over here. Now, I could do this on just one side. Like I, I could do it there and then run run all the way around, around the top. Um, would that be better? And then that could be the control, couldn't it? Yes. I'm making things slightly harder than they need to be. as usual. <laughs> so let me get up top again. I think I want it here. That's going to be a lot less involved. Wah, wah. I almost went flying. Okay. I'm sure the redstone will stretch far enough. And that's shown that it has already, so I can get rid of this one. This will maximize the amount of grass that's here as well, which is good. I don't think it's going to matter which way around the default is because I'm just going to put a lever there. And a lever can be on or off in whatever in, um, in whatever position I want it to be. Just have a short short break. Right. Um, put that dirt block there back again. <laughs> Perfect. So that can be there, that can be there, and my lever can go there. So one of those will be on, one of those will be off, doesn't really matter which way. And that torch will be a nice indicator as to which state it's in. It doesn't look too bad either. Um, I mean, I could put something there, but... You know, then we're just going to cover that glow uh, glowstone up, and I don't especially want to do that. Upside down half slabs for here. It does make the ceiling look rather dark. <laughs> right, so we're not quite done at the top. I need... what do I need? I need a redstone lamp. Or a number of redstone lamps, in fact. So, how do you make redstone lamps? Hmm. I can't remember how you make redstone lamps. No. <laughs> it's probably something to do with glass, isn't it? No. <laughs> I'm going to have to look this up in a moment. Glass. Surrounded by redstone. Cobble surrounded by redstone. <laughs> a torch surrounded by redstone. Excuse me a moment. Glowstone, of course. Glowstone. <laughs> glowstone surrounded by redstone. Ah, my mind just blanked on that. I mean, I haven't made them that often because they haven't been in existence for very long. So, um, how many do I need? I'm going to go with four. I 
should be enough. I wonder, were there any lamps already in there? No, there weren't. <laughs> Um, I'm going to hang on to these glowstone lamps because they might become part of the decoration on the outside. Because in order to match the glowstone that is in there with the farm, I've been incorporating glowstone into this building here. <laughs> There's pistons glowing away up there like a big pair of eyes. Okay. So, how does this thing work? This thing works because if you use bone meal on grass, it makes flowers and long grass appear. Um, if you use bone meal on grass that's in total darkness, right, then the flowers and the long grass appear and instantly pop off, start floating as stuff on the ground. So what you can do is and and that means that the grass is clear and you can add even more bone meal. So essentially you can just keep bone mealing the same bit of ground over and over and over and over again. And each time flowers and long grass appears, pop off and floats as an item and you can bone meal again. Then you can use a water stream to collect them up. So what you need is grass in complete darkness and a water stream. But you but when the water but now grass will survive in complete darkness um, it won't die but it will die in complete darkness if it has water over it so what you need to do is have a light source which will turn on when the water is flowing and turn off when the water is not flowing yes yes that's right <laughs> So, I've got my glowstone. Um, it's going to... Now, I want... I want these lamps... Okay, in this state, the water is not flowing. So these lamps want to be off. Which means I think I need an inverter. Because the lamps want to be off in this state. So I think I can just do that. And if I run... I also want the light to be pretty close to the ground, so... This is gonna... Mm, this is gonna mean I'm not gonna have access anymore via that. Um, well, hopefully I won't... You know, all the grass is spread now, except for that one corner. Come on! Grow grass! Maybe if I get sunlight onto that, it'll grow quicker. Um, which I think I can do like that. This will also make sure that in this state the lights will be on. So this is where the water would be flowing, so I would want the lights on. And that torch is on, so that's okay then. So what have we got? We got one. I think there and there. And if it was, I think if I put my lamps like that, do I need this many? Better safe than sorry, I think. If I don't have enough light, the grass will start dying. So I can still move around for general maintenance access. Actually, if I if I do that and I'll wire it that way. Um, so let's get up there. Don't have any more dirt, so I use wood. Thank you. So um, this redstone will just needs to do that. That block there isn't needed. 
because it will pick up the power there anyway. That block is because it's bridging. <laughs> I chopped that with my shovel. Okay. Um, so this would be water flowing, lights on. Flick the switch, water would stop flow, lights would turn off. That should be okay. Now I do need that last bit of grass to grow. And I need to put a roof on it. <laughs> and I need to add the water. So, you know, we're not quite done yet. <laughs> Do I have the... Yes, I've got stuff for a roof. Okay, so obviously I want... Do I want this redstone covered? It's not going to be visible. Oh, I don't have much sandstone, do I? Hmm. Maybe the roof of this building could be made of wood. <laughs> that might look okay. Wooden stairs. Do I want like a pitched roof? I mean, it could just... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get some, make some wooden stairs here. Cuz I want to see what something looks like. trying to picture it in my head. What I'm thinking is if I've got a sloped roof there and there, what if this one here was a gradual slope and then it's shot up? Or maybe just a gradual slope continuing the whole thing? Which means I need half slabs, not stairs. Well, wood is cheap. So, if we started by putting half slabs there, and then what I'm thinking is we put a layer of solid next. And then that would be half slab, solid. I'm hoping this is going to meet up there relatively nicely. It's not bad. An angle like that. You know, it bridges us from the low bit to the upper bit. And then we could just carry on pitching. But that might 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 look a little strange because it's going to get pretty high, isn't it? Well, the height goes up by what one every two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know. It'll be four higher by the time we get there. I'm just not sure what to do about this stuff. What if, what if I change this ever so slightly? He says tearing up the entire wall. No, no, oh, that's annoying. <laughs> I have to go all the way down, then all the way up. My thinking, if I can just get this, 
Oops, went down too far. Is that there is no reason these pistons have to be where I've said they are. They could be... Do I want them visible to the outside world? I don't think I do. Which means I could put the pistons... I should have four of them. Only see three. One of them must still be in place. There it is. There we go. I could put the pistons here. Facing that way. Ah. <laughs> Except this means I can't move around anymore. <clears throat> oh well. I don't think I'm going to ever have to come up here again. Like so. Because the advantage of that... If I build this up again... Is I can run the wire for them over here. Which means that my roof wall can come all the way down to there. Um, could do a similar thing at the back. Except this is where the water has to go. <laughs> There we go. That's got it. That means the pistons are no longer show, uh, showing on the outside. And my roof can go in fully. And that will be a completely sealed chamber once it's done.